Hello, and welcome to this short overview on Vimeo's built-in editor tool. This feature from Vimeo allows users to give past videos a touch-up with the ability to edit, trim, and reinvent your videos, even if you've already uploaded them to Vimeo. The features with this tool allow users to go back and adjust the timing, flow, and even resize your videos for social media platforms. To access the features, log into your Vimeo account. Navigate to the video you'd like to edit and open the video within the Vimeo Editor option. After loading a video, users will see several options within the Vimeo Editor application. Please note that some of these features are only available to Vimeo business accounts. Starting from the top, the aspect ratio dropdown allows users to select the size for their video that is optimized for social platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Hovering over each option gives you further information on the settings and how they're tailored for each of these platforms. Let's choose the one-to-one -one option for this tutorial. On the left panel, we see additional options for editing our video. Most of these are straightforward for video editors, but let's take a brief look at these options. Starting with the text, users can add text overlays to their videos. The text can be previewed in the video display and it can be repositioned as needed. Under the stickers option, there are some fun graphic assets that can be added to your video. These are similar to what you'd see on other social platforms. Vimeo groups these by categories and there are several to choose from. Once you have a sticker you'd like, you can select the graphic and it can be previewed in the video display. The positioning can also be adjusted by dragging the box around the sticker. Next, let's look at the styles option. Essentially, styles act like filters for videos. These can be overlaid to give your video a stylistic look. From the top, you can choose from the categories you like. After applying the style, users can preview the video by selecting the preview button. At any time, you can go back and choose the no filter option to clear the style applied. Music can be added in the next section. I personally didn't find this option that helpful since most of our videos already have a background track added. However, if you would like to add music, you can do so here. The final two options here on my panel are palette and brand. These are only available to Vimeo business account users at the time of this tutorial. Navigating over to the center panel, we'll see some additional editing options for our video. The layouts feature offers some further customization to the video, including color overlays that can be used for creative purposes or to display some text copy. Colors and size can be used to create borders around the video. Users can add their brand color hex code in this section. Moving on, the sound can be turned on and off for your video. So if you wanted to, you could turn the sound off here and go back and add music from that left panel. This could come in handy to make your video content evergreen if there is time sensitive audio in your original video. Finally, you have the trim option, which allows you to remove parts of the video. Again, this could come in handy to do quick edits without the use of more advanced video editing applications. Once you've completed the editing on your video, you can save the video and Vimeo will render out the new version. Vimeo automatically saves the edited video and files it under the Vimeo Create folder. You can navigate over to the video settings and choose the send file option to download the video. This will allow you to post the video to other platforms mentioned earlier. And there you have it, a simple and interactive way to edit your videos that you already have uploaded on Vimeo. Give the Vimeo editor a try the next time you need to create some social assets from your video, or if you need to do some quick revisions made to older video content. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.